Hey, Serge, how are you? Just to let you know I'm recording. <laughs> how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, yeah, I just wanted to uh, go over a couple of things. Um, one of the things uh, I wanted to discuss, the, the company that gave us uh, the letter, uh, can we, because it, uh, like it was almost two years ago now, can we just confirm that everything's okay with them, that the agreement's still in place? Uh, regarding this company, I can get such letter from that company, but I wrote in one of in one of my emails too that my buddy from those times, he is the vice president Ukrainian Association for Travel Agencies. Oh, okay. I can contact him, and we can get maybe such letter from him, or he will recommend the company which can organize such a tour for us. Okay. Okay. So it's up to you. But I will try to contact uh, my friend in Ukraine, and uh, we will see, just in case, I will get a letter from that company. Okay, yeah, obviously, obviously it would be a good idea if we had um, uh, maybe a, a backup as well, maybe two companies, just in case something falls through with whatever. Uh, just maybe two or three companies, but uh, uh, all those companies are members of that association where my friend is the vice president. Oh, okay, I got it. I understand that. So he knows availability, you know, just quality of services provided. Uh, so, and also uh, because of the, uh, their service, because they can offer one the same service, okay. but to charge twice. You know, that, uh, <laughs> what they do, they offer us uh, to go to that zone, and after that, uh, local people will do everything for us. Okay. So, no, you, you, you understand this what I'm talking about. They right. They have different uh, prices for uh, foreigners. And then I will contact a friend of mine and I will see, just in case we have cost of uh, the trip which is provided for uh, the previous Ch Chernobyl, go, Ch Chernobyl tours, then maybe it's Putin tours or something like that. We'll see. But see, I will try to get a quote from two or three companies. Okay. Um, then to get a reference Right, but just in just case. Not to spend, just not to spend time. Uh, if they're, you know, just, it's much better to have a better company. Of course. And I, and, and, um, like I, I don't want to spend all of our time at Chernobyl. Um, it is a big part of the documentary, but obviously I'm more interested in the, the, the people that are still living around there and the surrounding towns and things like that. Um, because we, we, we've all seen, we've seen the shots of Chernobyl a million times. But you never see a lot of them talking to the locals and, and their experience and how they went through uh, they they went through it because like we know it was what thirty one years ago now I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thirty one. Yeah. Well, and no, 32. Uh, it was in nineteen sixty. So thirty thirty two ish. Yeah. <laughs> Time is running very quickly. I know. I know. <laughs> And what, um, like, uh, I'm sure, like, in uh, Prepyat, there's going to be some places where they can take us and some places they can't. There's probably still places that are off limits. Uh, regarding those places, there are special, uh, let's say, uh, rules for tourists, because some uh, areas closed because of high radiation. Oh, okay. Uh, they also some, maybe some secret, uh, some kind of, I don't know. But there are special tours, and uh, we will visit Chernobyl, we will visit uh, Pritet, and also uh, in one of my uh, language sent to you, it was mentioned to live not in Chernobyl by itself, in the local hotel, because, uh, you know, we can stay there, and after that, the guide will uh, take us to go somewhere, but nothing to do in the evening. Okay. Not go by ourselves. No, but it's better no. to stay maybe in the city of Pritet, or Big Bad Slapotich, which was built especially for people from Chernobyl area. Okay. They were moved there. Okay. And, uh, all people who work right now in Chernobyl area, they live in Pripyat. Oh, okay. So the idea is that, that we can live, and then after that we can just meet with the people uh, who were there at that time, who were moved. And also, uh, the company which will organize our tour there, they can organize meeting with the settlers. So okay. people who Oh, 
perfect. Okay. Yeah, so that is the idea. Uh, but not to stay in Kiev, which is not far from, but uh, we won't find those people there. Or uh, we will find those people in Chernobyl, because people don't live in Chernobyl. They live in uh, hotels, or as to the settlers, we will go there only with the guide. Okay. But in Slavutich, it's a city where people uh, used to live and live right now. And they are all from Chernobyl. Okay, and um, I wonder if it's, it'll be tough to try to talk to some of the families of the first responders, uh, like the first um, paramedics and police and firemen that went in first, and because uh, unfortunately a lot of them lost their lives because they weren't really didn't really understand what they were running into, and I was wondering if we could try to figure out um, like, do you know if there's a, a charity? that deals with that, that might be able to help us track down some family so we could chat with them? Uh, you know, there are some different associations of uh, uh, people from Chernobyl, and like, uh, let's say, Minister of Interior, Interior uh, Affairs and so on. So. And uh, first of all, I will ask a friend of mine, maybe they, uh, that uh, the company which is or, uh, will organize us, or I will ask them, uh, then I will tell them, okay, guys, we will meet the following meetings, meeting with the families of people from the Ministry of Internal Affairs or from firefighters, or maybe by, uh, with the firefighters by themselves. And uh, so um, I think that it's not a problem. Because uh, right now those people, let's say about 50, 60 years old. Right. I mean, they were just, who were just fighters, maybe, uh, let's say, 30 years, 30, 60, 60. Okay. Let's say they were 20 years old, firefighter, or military as well, just 20, 30 years old, so like 50, 60 years old. And I it, um, it and we discussed uh, as well about um, going to some of the universities, possibly in Kiev. Uh, yes, uh, there is. Um, it depends when we'll go. If we'll go there in September, that's okay, but not in summer, like in July, August. Right. Vacation. Uh, we can visit um, university, linguistic university, which I graduated from, and where I worked for 10 years as a lecturer. Okay. So, that all people, they speak French or English, it's up to you. And what kind of university do you want to visit? Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I just kind of want to um, get the perspective of some younger people and what they've been taught about Chernobyl growing up. Okay. Uh, what do you think about that? Just not to use uh, interpreting services and... I would like to get to, I'd like to possibly do both. If we have an interpreter with us, I don't mind the interview being in uh, Ukraine or Russian or whatever. Okay. And uh, how many, uh, do you want to visit only university in Kiev? Or, uh, for example, uh, I'll also wrote to you about city of and we can uh, have a meeting there at Uh, we also discussed uh, I don't know if we can I don't know if we can get it but um, the possibility about getting a helicopter shot over Chernobyl uh, we can do it but it depends on weight I've read the road to you there is a limitation on the weight well I've uh, I've lost uh, almost 70 pounds in the last uh, 8 months so I'm not as fat as I was before <laughs> I don't know in kilos, but I weigh about, uh, I don't know, 255 right now? Uh, it's about 125 kilos. Okay. Uh, yes, but you will fly only once, because uh, they have a limitation for it. It's a small helicopter. Right, okay. Like Robinson and uh, uh, two better 
structures of their total weight should be not more than 140 kilos. And what's the closest town that is, so, so um, not Prepyat, but the closest town outside of Chernobyl? How, do you know how close they are? Uh, as uh, Chernobyl Pripyat is a zone, and I offered to stay in uh, Pripyat, uh, in Pripyat, in Slavutich, which is uh, about 40 minutes uh, by train. It's a special local train which uh, will take us. And if we will go there by car from Kiev, that's let's say 120 kilometers, but uh, it's about two hours drive there. Okay. All right. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I wanted to ask you. Uh, yeah, so I think, um, like, I think the whole trip, um, it'll probably be somewhere around 10 days. Uh, I'd like to do maybe two, three days at Chernobyl or at, uh, in Prepyat, and then the rest I would just like to speak with locals. I would like to, I want to speak to as many local people as I can. I want as many perspectives, ideas, uh, anything that they experienced um, when this disaster happened. Regarding that, two, three days, it will be like, uh, we will not stay there at the hotel. We will speak in Slavutich, state of Slavutich. Uh, we can spend one day, or uh, let's say the whole day in Chernobyl, the return back to Slavutich, and then uh, to meet with the people who lived there. Okay. So it will be more productive. Because uh, in Chernobyl, what we will see, we will not see people who lived there at that time. We can, uh, they can also organize, for example, uh, some meeting with the settlers. But it's only half a day or maybe a couple of hours so okay because it's a closed zone and people <laughs> they don't uh, they're only just people who work there and all the security for uh, so they are in that area is it the military that still like uh looks after chernobyl or is it like a, a uh, private a special like police forces oh, okay but they're obviously okay, you cannot enter to that area without uh, permission, so we should send the copies on the passport, and they should get authorization for us to enter uh, this. You know. Yeah, we'll have all the paperwork completed far in advance, just so we know everything's correct, that we won't run into any roadblocks while we're there. Uh, so uh, it's not a problem. We can send uh, uh, our when I fully agree. Maybe we can pay a small deposit to them because uh, we will pay everything <laughs> when it will be there. Yeah, we'll figure out all that uh, and we'll figure out um, pricing because uh, obviously some of this is going to probably cost us. I'm sure the helicopter is going to cost us, things like that. So, um, the most expensive will be helicopter. Right, of course. But I think the shot. Uh, I, I would very much like that shot to be in this documentary. Okay, I will send you, I, uh, maybe tomorrow you will get uh, a new itinerary uh, for 10 days, including all those things which you asked me about, universities, a meeting with the students, um, everything, and uh, maybe I will try to contact my friend of mine right now, it's in Ukraine, it's almost uh, 9 o'clock p.m. Monday, and I will get more definite information about travel agency which will organize that tour for us. Okay, perfect. And just to let you know, every time we talk now, I'm going to record every conversation. Okay. Just so it, uh, just so we have it. Uh, the more footage, the better. So it's much better just to have such as like, uh, you know, that um, 
it's much better that, for example, told you about that, 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 just not to forget about it, because then you can uh, listen to it again and uh, also make some notes, and uh, it will be much better for us. Exactly. So. Just for uh, doing a good plan or something like that. Right. No, I totally agree. I have another uh, call. You know, I have another call to do shortly, uh, so I got I have to end this. But I'm gonna probably call you again tomorrow. Okay, so but I will try to send you that information tomorrow, uh, but uh, without contacting a friend of mine. Uh, maybe okay. What I will do, we can talk tomorrow. Okay. But I will start to prepare the itinerary uh, ten days in Ukraine, and uh, just to get uh, just. With more information about the trip, I can do it after my conversation with a friend of mine. Perfect. Because it will be more uh, detailed, more concrete, just not, you know, blah, blah, blah. One company, but he will tell us what we can do. I'm excited for this, Serge. We've been planning yeah. this for a long time. Yeah, it's time to, <laughs> to realize it. Yeah, it's time to pull it all together. Yeah. All right, well, I'll wait for those uh, emails from you, and um, we'll talk... Uh, We'll probably talk in the next day or so. Okay. All right, buddy. It was great talking to okay. you, and I'll uh, we'll talk again soon. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. You too. See you later, Serge. See you. Bye. All right, bye.